Now to the crisis inside long-term care homes. The Premier of Quebec has asked for 1,000 more military personnel to help in long-term care homes in Quebec, where hundreds of people have died from COVID-19. Francois Legault says they've not been able to find enough trained workers to meet the immediate needs because so many regular staff have tested positive and are unable to work. And Ontario's Premier is now also asking for the military to help. This includes resources from Public Health Agency of Canada and Canadian Forces personnel. We will begin by directing that the additional personnel be deployed to five priority homes in the province. Their support will provide staffing relief so staff can focus on the care of the residents. Another 93 people are known to have died of COVID-19 in Quebec and another 37 in Ontario. The majority of those deaths happened in long-term care homes where there are hundreds of outbreaks now. Many are getting worse, including at the Orchard Villa Retirement Residence in Pickering, Ontario. 31 residents have died there, a huge jump from four people who died last week. There are at least 145 confirmed cases of COVID-19 at that retirement home in residents and staff. Everyone who lives and works there has now been tested for the virus. The biggest outbreaks are in long-term care homes, and Ontario is now planning for all residents and staff in all of them to be tested. It's hoped that will give public health officials an idea of how pervasive the virus is in the province's nursing homes. Other facilities where outbreaks are now coming to light are meat processing and poultry processing plants and oil sands camps. Staff work in close quarters, sometimes travel to and from work together, and often share living space. While so many of us have been told to stay home, employees in those places are still working. And as Heather Urex West reports, some say their companies are giving mixed messages about how to protect themselves. Jocelyn Ruiz has COVID-19. The High River Mother is one of more than 500 cases connected with an outbreak at the Cargill Meat Processing Plant south of Calgary. I was like, am I going to die? How about my family, my children? My, I was so scared. Every person or every household that I've known, Filipino, uh, there is uh, somebody tested positive. Health officials believe the outbreak spread from workers to family members and other household contacts, including some who worked at health facilities. Cargill shut down its facility on Monday. By then, one of its workers had already died. We feel very strongly that uh, there are grounds uh, for a criminal investigation uh, based on negligence causing uh, infection and in this case, uh, one fatality. Dozens of cases have also been confirmed at Canada's largest meatpacking facility near Brooks, Alberta. JBS says it's enhanced safety protocols for workers, but there are no plans yet to shut the plant down. This industry watcher says closing JBS may be inevitable, but having it happen while Cargill is down will have a significant impact on the country's food supply. Because both of them combined together would represent roughly about 70% of all the beef that is processed in Canada for Canadians. Health officials are learning the virus isn't just spreading inside these facilities, but that how workers get to and from these plants is a problem too. It's very, very difficult to implement physical distancing uh, measures uh, when everyone is in a bus, uh, everyone is on a bus, uh, everyone is bus to work or uh, everyone is carpooling and, uh, and there are some uh, immigrant workers living together as well. The Alberta government says it may launch a fatality inquiry into the Cargill workers' death, but people in High River now fear others may be at risk as this outbreak spreads. Heather Urex West, Global News, Calgary. A financial lifeline is coming for post-secondary students and recent graduates. $9 billion has been earmarked by the federal government for the Canada Emergency Student Benefit. It will provide up to $1,250 a month from May to August. People who have a dependent or a disability will be eligible for up to $1,750 a month. There's also a promise to create 76,000 jobs for young people, including in sectors that need an extra hand fighting COVID-19. The Prime Minister also said today support is coming in the days ahead for seniors whose retirement savings have taken a hit because of the drop in the stock market. 
There's so much information surrounding coronavirus out there now. We know you have questions. Email your questions at globalnews.ca. Tune in to Global National or go to globalnews.ca slash coronavirus now to find the answers.